There's just something about the summertime that screams barbecue. And there is nowhere else to go besides Dickie's Barbecue Pit. And here to tell us more, we have the co-owner of Dickie's Barbecue Pit and the catering services manager, James Halstead, joins me now. James, great to see you. Thank you for inviting us. We're happy to be here. Oh, and I will tell you, you've got some of the best barbecue around. I think we do. <laughs> I like it. So tell me, you own all the locations, you and your partners here in Clovis and Fresno. That's correct. All four. And why did you want to invest in this brand and company? Well, I took a long look at it. Uh, I started researching a little bit about this particular franchise. They started in 1941. I said, geez, these guys are older than me. <laughs> They've been doing it. But I like the size. They're not that big. They're like about 700 plus franchises. I thought that was really good. And I love the food. Yes. My partners and I went and had the food and we just went, wow. Yeah. We love the food. And uh, so the food has to be good. You have to have the two things to make a franchise work or any business work. One is good food, mm -hmm. and the other one is good people. Yes. And I like the, the managing people that are at Dickies. Uh, they seem to be on top of everything, mm -hmm. so they're very good in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot of staff, which is unusual for franchises because sometimes, you know, once you give them the money, you don't see them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so these guys seem to stay with us all the time, which I really like. Yes. Well, the restaurants are beautiful, and the food is to die for. What are some of your favorite items on the menu? Oh, I like the, uh, I like the sausage. Uh, not jalapeno, I like that one. I like the uh, brisket, and I like it all. Yes. There's nothing I don't like, but yes. the, the one that I really like the most is the green beans. Oh, yeah. I could eat the green beans forever. The sides are amazing. Unbelievable sides. Oh, and for you, those who aren't as familiar with the barbecue, how do you describe it? How do they cook it? Well, it's a master, it's done on a brisket, and they do a, 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 a barbecue sauce on top, a grab on it, and they pull it apart the brisket mm. and they move it around and stuff like that but it's very very good oh it is yeah. so tender and they have uh, particular ovens they use in the back that are, are designed particularly for dickies yeah and they use those to cook the food even though this is a franchise it's such a family feel and i know families are important to you yeah, absolutely i have a family i have my wife and my three kids and they love barbecue. Everybody loves barbecue. But even just promoting families in that kids eat free on Sundays. That's correct. They eat free on Sunday. All kids eat free on Sunday. Oh, that's wonderful. Talk about catering services, because a lot of us, we might not want to spend time in the kitchen. We want to spend time in the backyard talking to folks during our barbecues. Well, the big thing about catering, we call them the businesses, but we also have people that come in every day and say, you know, I'm gonna have a wedding or I'm gonna have a party a week from now. I have eight people, Will you, can you cater that for us? So you get business from the people walking in the door. Mm -hmm. and you get businesses by going to a Rotary Club or something like that, mm -hmm. where you meet a lot of businesses at one time yeah. and they can see you know, that you're in the business. And then they wanna do catering with you. Catering is a very good because it gets, it gets you into the community mm -hmm. faster than anything else. I mean, you can have a store here in Clovis and you can and then do, do business here, but the more you advertise, the more people see you, the more they're going to come in and buy. Yes, and it's perfect for families, for family reunions, for businesses. Weddings, all kinds of stuff. Weddings. Yeah. yeah. Basically, uh, Fourth of July picnics, we do very well in that area, obviously. And uh, like I said, the food tastes fantastic. Once you've had Dickies, Yes. You will, you will not go anywhere else. <laughs> it really is. And it started in Texas, so it's Texas right. style. Texas style. And then what would you say about the sauces? Oh, I love the sauce. I, there are three sauces. There's the original, there's the spicy, and then I think there's the sweet. And I like the spicy myself, personally. Yes. Okay, so for everyone out there, what do you want to say to them about why Dickies should be one of their top spots to come to dinner, lunch, and everything in between? Well, I think uh, for everybody out there, this is a great place to come bring your family and have a good time. Uh, we have TV screens, so we have uh, availability of watching some of the games. I think it's a great place to come. It's a fun place to come. Our, our people that work here, we work very hard to them to be friendly mm -hmm. and be very helpful in any way we can. But the most important thing, come for the food. Come for the food and the fun. But let's talk the locations real fast. Okay, we have two in Clovis and two in Fresno. And the one on Blackstone Avenue is yeah. open. That's one open, they're all, and they're all open. Yes. There's none of them that are closed anymore. We've opened them all, and they're all operational, and we'd love to see you. Yes. Well, thank you so much. We're so happy to see you <laughs> and share the love of Dickies with us. And it's time to start eating. I'm, I'm getting a little hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. We need about our that time. We need our barbecue. <laughs> yes, we need okay, our barbecue. time to go. Thanks so much, James. Okay. <laughs>